so it's like midweek so I figured I would record another video um this one is kind of like a drugstore must-haves drugstore favorites like the stuff that I've been kind of like using on a daily basis pretty much the whole summer so I figured I would share them with you because none of this is high-end this is all like affordable you can get it at any drugstore Target Walmart um, whatever so I wanted to share with you my must-haves and if you're interested in seeing them then keep watching okay first I wanted to talk about this L'Oreal tinted self tanning lotion one of my friends actually got me hooked on this and it's um, amazing it doesn't make you streak it actually has like a little bit like of a shimmer in in it and I know a lot of people are worried about like self tanners because you end up orange or blotchy but this I have to say like I use this all summer and I'm in love with it it's L'Oreal Paris body expertise sublime bronze and it's kind of like a gel it's not really like a lotion it's an actual tinted gel it turns brown on your skin so you can see where you're applying it so that you don't put some white lotion on and then when it dries you're like blotchy and miss spots so you can actually see where this is going it's quick drying it's moisturizing and it does have like a little bit of like a shimmer in it so I don't know if you guys can see L'Oreal sublime bronze that's this and um, I've had the same one for a while now it's lasted me about a year and it still has like some left in there so it does get you like a long way so it's this the next thing is I'm obsessed with like all sinful colors nail polishes and this was also recommended by a friend and this is the color endless blue and I've been wearing this um, towards the end of the summer I wore this on vacation I love their nail polish to begin with because they have like every color that you can possibly think of um, but they're really cheap too like they're like two or three bucks you can get them at you know Walgreens or Target or wherever but I just love this color it's different I kind of like to wear blues and purples at least for summer so yeah that's this um, I wanted to tell you guys about this is a face product. This isn't like makeup product. This is um, the Neutrogena Rapid Clear 2-in-1 Fighting and Fade Gel. I'm going to be honest with you. Like when you have a breakout, if you put this stuff on before you go to bed, I swear by this stuff. Like I woke up, like redness was gone. The like puffiness was gone. Any like breakouts that you have on your face, this stuff works within like 24 hours or at least like helps diminish it within 24 hours. Um, and this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see because there's a glare. There you go. So, yeah. I got this from Target and I barely used any. I mean, I've used a little bit. But it seriously, like, gets rid of any kind of, like, imperfections on your face. It It's really awesome. So, if you get breakouts and you want them, like, gone within a quick period of time, definitely check this out. Okay, now I'm going to get into some makeup products that I love that are affordable and my first thing is what I've been using on my eyebrows. I used to use the um, MAC, what is it, the MAC Spiked? Yeah, MAC Spike Eyebrow Pencil. It's a retractable one. But I found this is kind of like a dupe of that. And it's almost the exact same color. This is retractable as well. And it's CoverGirl. So it's a quarter of the price. So it has like the little eraser on the one end and then it's retractable so you can kind of like really draw a defined line um, for your brows if that's the look that you like to do and they have all different shades for blonde hair black hair brown hair whatever look you're going for so this is just the dark brown cover girl perfect point plus eyebrow pencil um, the next thing is a concealer that I've been using like the whole summer I prefer more of like stick concealers versus the liquid concealers because I feel like they're more buildable they can give you more co coverage if you're covering like a blemish or under eye bags or whatever so this is the elf concealer I have a ton of elf products you can actually I heard get them at Dollar Tree now but this one I got from Target I think it was like two dollars and it's just their ivory concealer and they have different shades of this one as well and it's just like a roller stick but yeah 
affordable and covers any kind of breakout I have or I just put it under my eyes to get rid of my bags and love this. Um, the next thing is also another e.l.f. product. Um, I am obsessed with kabuki brushes and most kabuki brushes, high-end ones, are super expensive but um, I found an e.l.f. kabuki brush that was three dollars not kidding so I've been using this for my bronzer for my powder it's like short and fat so you can just kind of like throw it in your purse and it's so soft like so soft and it blends really good like I like the fat brushes like this when I do powder and bronzer and stuff because I just feel like you get the whole area I don't know but yeah this is like three bucks at Target so that's what this looks like and I kind of carry it in my purse whenever I'm going anywhere. Um, the next thing that I want to talk about is another brush. Um, this one I've been using for my foundation. I know some people may use more of like the flat foundation brushes, but I like the bristly kind just because I feel like you can blend and get in like all your pores so you're like less streaky. Um, so I've been using this and this exact brush or a duplicate of this brush at MAC is like $22, $28, something on the line of that. Um, but I found this one at Target. This The brand is Sonia Kashik, and you can actually get her brushes. Her whole brush line is at Target, and I think this was like 5 or 6 bucks. So good, cheaper alternative for anybody that wants to have like a good quality foundation brush but not pay the high-end price. So this is the brush. It's just white. Love that. And the next thing I want to talk about is my mascara. Um, I've kind of taken a break from mascara the past like three weeks just because I got my eyelash extensions, which these are still on. So when I have them on, I don't wear mascara. Um, if you've watched my previous video, if not, I'll post a link below if you're interested in watching that. But when I do wear mascara, this is the look that I try to achieve. Um, so I like the dramatic long lash look. So this is the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. I've been using this for probably like a year and a half now and I haven't really switched because I don't have a reason to. Like I love this mascara. It separates all my lashes, makes them like really full and thick and this is just the Carbon Black and L'Oreal Paris is the brand. And the wand is like it's like a comb almost so it really like separates your lashes when you're putting it on and you can kind of have more control so I really love that and it's like rubbery so it bends and kind of curls your lashes as you're putting it on so this I want to say it's more like eight to ten dollars at the drugstore and then I wanted to share with you guys the powder that I've been using the whole summer um, I'm normally a cover girl powder girl but I've been using this um, like loose powder by L'Oreal it's called true match natural and this has like SPF in it and the color that I use is creamy natural because I'm pretty fair um, and it has like the little brush so it's pretty cool because you take this off and then you untwist it and you dip the brush in and then you can kind of just put it on and put the cap back on and throw it in your purse so I really do love this um, I have kind of like medium oily skin so I have to keep like a powder with me at all times um, but yeah this is really good if you have oily skin it doesn't leave like an oily coating on your face I know some feel a little like dewy after you put on like powder you'll look cakey almost and for the summer when you're like sweating obviously you don't want to look like that so definitely check this out um, this is like eight to nine bucks as well but um, definitely my go-to powder right now and then the last thing I want to talk about, which I think I talked about like last year in a video that I made and I'm still like obsessed with these things, are my baby lips. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite chapstick. This, um, this one is tinted though. This is pink tinted, but like if you look at my lips, I don't know if you can see like, if you look at my lips, they're like very faintly tinted, but um, they have like they have clear, they have all different tints, they have like coral and dark, like if you want more of a red lip, but it's a chapstick, so you don't have that like lipstick smell and the thickness of a lipstick. This like moisturizes your lips and gives you like color if you want, or you can get the clear, but 
they're amazing. They're by Maybelline, and this one is called Pink Punch, and I, like, love these. And they smell so good. It smells like strawberries. Um, but, yeah. So, if you've never tried baby lips and you want a chapstick, try it because it's it seriously feels like baby lips or baby's butt or whatever. But, um, yeah. So, those were just some of the things that I've been kind of, like, using as, like, a go-to um, for the whole summer. And they're all from the drugstore. You can get them from Target, Walgreens, CVS, whatever. Um, none of these are from high-end places, so they're all affordable. So I just wanted to share with you some of my favorites. So if you guys are looking for any of these things or looking to change your line, check some of those out and um, let me know what you think. So that's it for today. Um, I have some more videos in the works that I'm going to be doing soon. So... Keep checking back to my channel, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Tanning lotion. That's the name of it.